Back she goes. Now she's going to go over the seesaw. Nice and gentle down there. They have to keep their paws on that uh, red bit at the bottom. There we are through the tyre. Over we go. Round feet coming now. Let's see how she does in the weave pole. There we go. Back she goes. In she goes through them. And there we are, there's five, a big hand for P to the Border Collie. And he's seven years old today, so that's the second birthday. And owned by uh, Vivian Hopcroft. Uh, Dolly started life as a guide dog puppy. Uh, so, she's had quite a checkered career. And, uh, well, I mean, if you're uh, sort of doing a bit of guiding there, you can sit down and have a scratch. Uh, but there we go. So here's Dolly doing very well. There we are. She's still going round there. Uh, Dolly's a very happy dog and has given an awful lot of pleasure to the owners. Uh, and she lives with uh, five other guide dog puppies, so she's not on her own. Uh, I'm always glad to see them back. Round we go. And our last uh, dog today is uh, Chloe. Uh, you see the club members there just altering the poles for little tiny dogs. Uh, Chloe is in Shizu, H4, uh, owned by Jordan. Uh, Chloe is Quincy's little sister that you saw earlier, but is definitely the boss at home. Out we pop. Well, we're having a look round here. This is a little star of the show. There we go. Gordon's uh, coming round there. There we are over these little jumps. I thought he was going to tie her up there for a second. Off we go. Quite difficult when you're working on a lead with the dog. Not easy for this young man to do. Up we go there. Bags of confidence coming over this scale. That's going absolutely lovely for a little tiny dog. Off we go and round again. Over the jump there. Yeah, we're going to have a go at this one. Oh, we hope. And now we're going to come up to, of course, the tyre here. Let's see what's going to happen here. Quite high for a little gap. Off we go. Yeah. Well, here we go. This is a refuse at the first fence. No, we're going to beat it. Now that's no, hold on. That's a jolly good idea. Yeah, we don't want to go through that tire. Oh, we go. Well, he's still having a look at it, you see. Over we up. Now, let's see what's going on now. Right, we're going to have a go at the scale poles, uh, the wheat poles now. We're coming down nicely. That's absolutely super. And here we come. We're really trying to get this tight little dog through. A lot of weaving going about here. There we are. And there we are, we're through, and there is Chloe, the Shizu H4. Super unfit, and it's a 1975 in a year. Rolls Royce, I'm going to have to do a bit of interview in here, because I can see that it wasn't made yesterday. 200, it's excellent, the description is there. Thank you very much. Ford Angry at Gold, this is a uh, Cabriolet model, and... Uh, Again, restored, fine model, and that's the call bay.
Cooperage Road. And the process that you can see at the moment is not trying to start the engine, but to...
Now, as everybody knows, the first big fair was 15 years ago, and it was in the car park of the Dolphin Pub in Chipping, and it was to raise money for the local village hall, the new village hall. Now, the person who organised that was our current show secretary, Jenny Henderson. And that function was a great success. So many decided that we'd have one the year after. And the year after that, and the year after that, and Mary has been the show secretary, and really has been the driving force behind it these last 15 years. Now everyone says that behind a very successful show or organisation, there is a very dedicated show secretary. And here I think we have been so lucky with, with Mary, and therefore it was a very great pleasure that I present her with the President's Cup. <laughs> Best get oh, secret on with you. I'm very, very honoured and I'm just thank you very much, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, both exactly the same track produced in different companies. Lehman bought the XC, the XC bought the XC. Behind that, we've got the knee. I've I've got another nod, I'm doing well today. It's an off farm condition or an under rest restoration, sorry. Four to five thousand with cab, which means we'll go for a without cab. Four to five thousand, that's a 1971. Another four to major off farm condition. It's carrying uh, a two for a plow, which is right for it. And that is followed by two. Enough. Slightly later up the major range, Cormac Deer in Farm Hall, head 20. Um, McCormack Deer in and it came from me, but these wasn't built in Britain. Took over by, I think it was Italian. Marshall 264, 2 and 2, 1989. Another Ferguson, that is a straight petrol model. Great Festival. 1969, Ford 3000, in off farm condition. And behind this, a bit unusual, the Winged Company were more noted for making cement mixers and builders' dumpers, but they did have a do at the tractor market. Uh, it's powered by a two cylinder diesel engine, uh, which is a Lister and the also Petter engine. Made in Japan, a very important Japanese and Chinese practice. So a massive production, but that one's made in Japan. That's a cool game, isn't it? It's a 178 multi-power, that's bigger than the ones we've seen. In that sort of livery, so that's 1969 Japan. Four-wheel drive, roadless conversion on a four-wheel jetster. Quite a rarity, and a rarity in this condition. Still powered by three. David Brown select a Matic and he will hold that for 12 months, in fact they all will. 
And they were used for preparing the road surface, um, for tarmacadam tarmacadam to be laid. The second roller is a single cylinder Aveling and Porter, 10 ton version. Ton for all gold medal tractor. This was full of Stafford's answer to the light loco legislation at the time. Um, um, more or less brand new. Hello. Five is good. Cool. Three years in the lounge. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bernie Fairbank from Blackpool. Um, I've got a half size Garrett 4CD. Um, it took me three years to build it. I've been running a over a period of. Three more jackpots in the reserve. Um, I did a lot of work on it. I bought it in 1987 and carried on, put a new boiler in it, new firebox, lots of new gears, new axles, chimney, canopy, and repainted it. Um, and it's in the condition it's in now. Thank you. 